How do I use LEDs for communication? LEDs can be used for communication on the field in addition to making your robot look good. There are many reasons why a team might want to use LEDs on their robot for communication. A lot of games have the human player across the field from the rest of the drivers and the coach. You may want to use LEDs to communicate messages to that human player, like what game piece you'd like, or whether a robot is ready to receive a game piece. This might be an easier way to communicate compared to a sign or hand signals from across the field. Teams may also want to use LEDs to tell drivers the state of the robot. Usually during a match, the driver is always looking at the robot while they're driving it. So it's a great way to tell the driver what the robot is doing. You may want to use the LEDs to tell a driver when a game piece has been picked up or uh, whether a robot is in a ready state, maybe ready to shoot or ready to score or a motor is spinning at the proper speed. That visual feedback is a great way to be more efficient when you're driving your robot around the field. When choosing your LEDs, there are a few things that you should take note of. One thing you should consider is whether your LEDs that you are choosing are addressable or non-addressable. Addressable LEDs allow you to control each LED individually on the strand. Non-addressable will turn all the LEDs the same color when you make a change. You'll need to use addressable LEDs if you want to do fun patterns or strobe effects on your robot. It's important to look at what voltage your LEDs are using. Sometimes when using a lot of LEDs on your robot, you may use too much current if you're pulling from a source that's not your main power distribution. Using an LED that plugs into the 12 volt source on your robot will definitely help with current draw. Here on my team, we use these 12 volt LEDs so we can connect them directly to our power distribution system. Other products like these LED noodles use a lower voltage, so you may need to find an alternate power source than just connecting to your power distribution. Most often, the LEDs when used for communication will require some sort of programming in order to tell them what to do. There are a few different ways that teams can accomplish this on their robot. A team may want to use a coprocessor on their robot to program their LEDs separately. This could be a circuit board like an Arduino that you can program off board and just add to your robot and connect your LEDs to. This will keep your LED code separate from your normal robot code, um, but maybe a way that is more effective for your team to use. This is a really helpful way that you can get a separate sub team than your normal programming group to work on this as a side project. Alternatively, a team may use their RoboRio to control the LEDs directly. Here at AndyMark, we have a product that is an LED strip and a connector that can connect to the PWM port on the RoboRio. This connector allows you to connect up to the LED without soldering. These LEDs streamline the connection to the RoboRio. The signal line will be able to connect directly to the PWM signal port on the RoboRio, and the power can receive 12 volts directly from your power distribution system. It's important to design in your LEDs to your robot. Think about where you're going to place them before you finish building. My team likes to put the LEDs inside tubes and diffuse them with frosted polycarbonate. But teams can do a variety of different things. Make sure that your LEDs are protected from other robots and aren't gonna get pulled out because they are directly connected to your robot wiring. LEDs are a great tool to make your robot more effective on the playing field, but they're also fun. Use them to make your robot rainbow colored or show off your team brand as well. And that is how you use LEDs for communication on your robot.